Good afternoon, viewers. Uh, today, I want to talk a little bit about uh, colors. And um, colors in the fragrance business is extremely important. And I'm, I'm learning this uh, as, I, as I continue on in this business. Um, but, you know, there's something about colors that really, uh, you know, does something to the eyes and to the brain when it comes to the customer. I mean, a, a person could have something, a fragrance that is extremely weak, uh, but if the color is right, people will actually end up jumping on that fragrance just because of the way it looks and not necessarily looking at or, or not or smelling um, how strong the fragrance is in the raw materials and how much, how much raw materials um, you know, are being used to make that fragrance strong. Um, so I'm gonna give you a little example right here. Give me one second. This one right here, this is the Obama type, right? This came clear straight from the manufacturer, all right? And I knew I would never, ever, ever be able to sell uh, this with it being clear. The customers just aren't going to go for it. They're going to look at it and they're going to say, ah, oh, that's Obama? Um, that's not it. That's, 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 that's the wrong one. And you could tell them, here, no, smell it, smell it. And they're going to go, no, that's not the right, that's, that's not it, that's not it. And you could actually end up losing a sale like that. Uh, so this is something you got to keep in mind. In the beginning, I didn't really know which fragrances I was, or which coloring I was supposed to use when it came down to dyeing my fragrances. And um, this is kind of some of the background stuff that people don't really see, but the, the more I dug deep into what to use in order to dye these fragrances, I found out basically it's just uh, food coloring. It's FD, FD and C, which stands for Food, Drug, and Cosmetic. Um, uh, dye okay so that's something you can use but it only takes like one drop you know you put like a little drop boop, and before you know it I mean your whole entire one pound is is colored right this one right here uh, I'm gonna come back to this is one fragrance that I just colored it was completely clear and um, I ended up coloring this one right some dyes you have to kind of be careful because the dye actually has a, a smell to it, and if you go overboard with some of these dyes, it can actually change the way the fragrance smells. So that's something that I'm learning along the ways. But keep that in mind, folks. When you're selling your fragrances, it's so key to make sure your fragrances um, are colored according to what you say that fragrance is. So let's say, for instance, like... Uh, um, like this one right here is the black musk, superior black musk. Um, you know, you got, it's got to be dark. It's got to be, I mean, if it's not black, it's got to have some darkness to it. Um, red musk, same thing. Uh, if you're going to call it red musk, you can't, you can't sell it clear. You know, you got you to have that in there because when people hear that word red musk, they're automatically thinking, okay, this is supposed to be red. Or blue Nile. Or, you know... Um, green, green, whatever, right? Red this, red that, polo red. You got to have those colors in order to um, uh, match up what the name is. So keep this in mind. This is one very important tip uh, for those who are in the fragrance business who sell fragrances is make sure you keep your, your fragrances colored uh, because this will make a big difference in how uh, well you're able to sell your product and, and also increasing the value of the uh, the product and especially I would say like with some of like your reds like some of the the, the red fragrances you know uh, I know some companies that they get real they like to get like too cheap when it comes to using a certain amount of color sometimes if you use like a darker red it just does something to the eyes that dark you know like that bright dark red I don't mean like brown but like that deep you know blood red when you color a fragrance, I've seen many people who are in this business who, who will put that extra drop of dye in their fragrance in order to give it that nice, rich look. That makes a huge difference versus somebody who's just trying to, you know, oh, I'll just put a little bit. And it ends up, you know, 
not really looking all of that rich. So take that and, and keep that in mind when you're when you're dyeing your fragrances. It's cheap. I mean, you know, you could get like the little one ounce online, like a drop with a dropper, you know, for a couple bucks, and it'll last you for a real long time. Um, so that's my tip for today. Check again. I'm posting. I'm just right now. I'm just uh, working on a Saturday, trying to get up as many videos as I can, and uh, I'll be back with a fragrance review shortly. Take care.